My name is Chris and welcome to the Camper Dan Files. Alright guys, just arrived at the junkyard. Already got some tools packed up. Um, I'm here for a few replenishment parts for myself and um, a couple of requested parts uh, via Empora. Got a couple of R50 enthusiasts that I need some uh, replacement parts for their bills. So I'm going to go in here and see if I can find anything on my list and um, see what other cool finds I can uh, come across. So I was just about to go in the yard and then these caught my eye here. These are uh, 24570R16s. These are nice. I wonder how much they want for these. Oh, they're already spoken for. Ah, they're really nice. Whoever got those is super lucky. My, my, my. With all the wheels and tires that they have out today. Wow. Whoever that guy was that was supposed to pick these wheels up, he never came. They're still here. Well, it doesn't say how much you want from them. I guess I can ask my buddy that's in the window. Got a couple of new tires here, too. Nothing that I need. Still nice. And the R50 is still here. It's been sitting for so long. And now it has a flat tire. First time I laid eyes on it, it was actually parked outside in the parking lot. And I suspect that it still runs. But I don't know why they're keeping it here. So we just made it to the Nissan SUV section. So today we're here to scour through the available parts on both of these R50s. I believe this is going to be a 2001-2002 Infiniti QX4. So one of the things that I was like, oh, that's why nobody took it. The lens on this looked pretty good, but it's cracked. Both headlamp assemblies are still here and intact. It's on the plastic clip there is cracked. But um, I think I'm gonna go ahead and help myself to the ballast. I'm surprised that those are still here because they usually take those right away. Yeah, I think I'm gonna get, I think I'm gonna get the ballast off of this one. And then um, we're gonna be looking for the star adjuster wheel, preferably the uh, passenger side. Oh, looks like some of the work was done for me here too. Nice. Let me go ahead and help myself to the ballast from this uh, headlamp assembly. Again, these parts are unobtainium. And um, if you could obtain them from Nissan, I would suspect that it's going to be quite the ransom. So let me get some tools out. To get to the ballast, guys, you have to first remove the headlamp assembly from the body of the R50. Um, so when we go to do this one, we already have one um, bolt removed here. We have another here. And then there's a 10 millimeter nut hiding back here. Once you remove those three fasteners, the headlamp, We'll um, slide away from the body and then we can get at our uh, ballast here. Now to get the uh, ballast off of the headlamp assembly itself, you'll need to use an 8 millimeter socket or in my case, an 8 millimeter um, box wrench. We went ahead and unplugged these uh, three connectors here. And um, those are going to be uh, connected one here, one here, and then one here. And now we're gonna work on the uh, ballast separately because um, it was getting a bit restrictive there. There's not enough room to try and remove this while it's still hanging on the truck. So I went ahead and removed the entire assembly and now we're gonna get down to the nitty gritty here. So we were able to get the uh, driver's side uh, ballast removed. And I think I know why these headlamps weren't snatched. And it's because if you look really, really close here, it looks like these uh, headlamps aren't virgins anymore. It looks like someone's had this open. And the same for this one. See? There's a little tang right there that's supposed to be in the middle of that. And it's not seated right. Compared to this one, these are still virgins. Although this one 
has moved a little bit, but still relatively sealed. This one, nobody took it because one of the plastic tangs here on the driver's side, it's missing. See, it should have one like this. That's what attaches it to the top here. Outside of that, this headlamp would have made a good candidate. But I think if you're really desperate, you could probably plastic weld this crack. And it has a little scuff here. But even with that, guys, I see these things sell for hundreds all day long on eBay. But again, I'm just here for the ballast. I already got the driver's side. I'm going to get the passenger side now that I have the headlamp uh, free of the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and unplug this and work on it in here. We got our headlamp assembly free of the vehicle. We're going to go ahead and remove these uh, three fasteners here. You have one 8mm nut right there and then two here on the top side. And then of course the um, harness. All right, so both uh, driver and passenger side um, HID ballast has been attained. Now we're gonna go back here and see about the uh, star adjuster wheel. Now I know some of you are probably in your head right now saying, why are we getting star adjuster wheels from the junkyard? Why not just go to the auto parts store and get some? Well, on my experience while searching for these, and you know your run-of-the-mill auto parts store they're not gonna have this and um, believe it or not if you were to go to Nissan directly to get this part it's a ransom of hundred and fifty dollars per for something like this that once you put it in here you're probably never ever gonna look at it again but yeah that's what they go for at Nissan so um, we're gonna help our colleague out by getting one of these uh, the more economical way so here we have a 2002 and then we have a 2001 what i'm gonna do is um get this drum off since it's partially off already on the passenger side so the first thing you want to do before you attempt to remove the drum you want to make sure that your emergency brake is down because if it's up you're never going to get it off so needless to say, this now required very little effort to remove. I mean, as soon as I touched it, it fell. You definitely want to make sure your toes are clear of this thing and wear you some good, uh, some good boots. So here's a star adjust the wheel on the passenger side. Now, one of the main reasons why one would need to replace this is if the uh, teeth here wear down. Now, these teeth look... They look fine to me. Still grabbing the uh, adjuster there pretty good. So I was able to remove the uh, top spring. Might wanna try and pry this spring off to remove all tension and then this should pretty much fall out. So we took our screwdriver there, our flathead, did a little bit of pry action on the back of the spring and now it's completely loose. And um, now we should be able to just wind this back down just enough to get it out of here. He just wanted the wheel, but for all the trouble that I'm going to go through, I'm just going to send him the entire assembly. There's no sense for me to go through all of this trouble just to get the wheel. And I'll even be nice and send him this arm too, just in case. So I'm also supposed to be on the hunt for some exhaust heat shields for um, another individual this is going to be the heat shields that reside directly under the cabin in the front here on this vehicle i don't think i'm going to be able to get to them it's too dirty here and i really don't want to get dirty same thing with this vehicle too dirty here but there's a i think this is a 2000 r50 pathfinder aka 99 and a half yep it's relatively clean over here. And doesn't look like there's anything that's gonna obstruct my ability to access things. So I think if it's not too hard, I am gonna give it a shot on this one because I did bring my um, electric ratchet, my uh, Milwaukee. Every now and again, you come across the strangest things, even when you're not looking for them. This is a mechanics creeper, guys. 
The only thing that's wrong with it is that one of the wheels busted off there. <laughs> I'm assuming somebody brought it in the yard to work on one of these rigs and I guess they broke it and just said screw it. Interesting. So it looks like I just sold something on uh, eBay. So yeah guys, I wanted to get these heat shields but the passenger side one and the driver side of life. Most of the exhaust is still here and it's in the way. So, and um, over there where you see that um, rim set up there, that's right under the uh, cross member for the transmission, which isn't a problem. But again, <laughs> the exhaust pipe there that you see hanging down, it's in the way. And not even so much that, it's late in the day guys, it's 117 today. That's supposed to be the high. I don't know what the actual temperature is right now. But it's hotter than Hades out here. So I think what I'm going to do is save for another day. And make it my business to get to set inventory first thing in the morning. Because it's too hot to be coming here in the afternoon. Um, it's a lady outside that's selling some uh, cold refreshments. I think I'm going to go patronize her. Get me a nice tall cold drink. And um... I think I'm gonna head home guys so yeah this is gonna be a short junkyard video um, again I did just sell something on eBay I actually just sold a um, uh, interior rear view mirror so that makes me feel good um, so yeah I'm gonna go home deal with that star adjust the wheel I'm gonna get these ballast um, both listed for sale also notice that there's a couple of starter motors um, hanging out here like this one's already removed from the engine looks like it's hanging by the um, power connections there and it looks relatively new again this is the uh, 2002 infinity qx4 and see here's another one just hanging out here also this one looks good but some of the uh, connections are botched up and um still turns and everything so but i'm not sure if i want to get that one or not i don't need one start on my truck is fine i don't know what's going on guys not that i'm complaining so i'm leaving the junkyard with my catch for the day and <laughs> i'm minding my business packing up my stuff and a dollar bill just goes blowing by me yet again my lucky or what so we're back home now guys i couldn't record anymore while at the junkyard because my camera was piping hot like i couldn't get it to cool down and i myself was overheating too so uh we ended up getting three parts we also got the uh rear view mirror here now this particular part is a replenishment part because i literally just sold one got the uh two ballast here there's our star adjuster wheel there and even the um, the arm. We have our brake adjuster here in this packaging. So we're gonna get this uh, package up so I can drop it off at the post office. All right. So our star adjuster wheels are packaged up. We're gonna go ahead and get this guy dropped off into the uh, mailbox there. We're on our way to the post office. This is a interior rear view mirror that I sold on eBay. This is for a 370Z. And this is going to the UK, guys. Um, I was actually supposed to drop it off last night. And I had it all packaged up and ready to go and I forgot to grab it out of my garage. So I'm gonna go drop it off now. We also have a uh, road trip scheduled for this upcoming weekend. Gonna be going to the beach there in uh, California. Uh, Santa Monica Pier to be specific and Venice Beach if we have time So We're not gonna spend too much idle time guys Time is limited usually when I come to the junkyard I spend at least two hours in here But um, I have Exactly an hour So we're gonna go to the Nissan SUV section and try and find the parts that we need and a couple of other parts that we can flip. Let's get into it. 
So outside of our main and everyday targets, the R50 Pathfinders and the Infinity QX4s, I wanted to target these uh, mid-2000 uh, Xterras too. So I've been doing some homework. Oh, one of these would have had fog lamps. I think it was this one. Headlamps on this one, they look like they've been altered a little bit. Like they've been tinted. Oh, what I wanted was an air box. Because these go for big money and somebody already ripped into this one. And it looks like the same for this one also. Oh, no, it looks like the lid is still here. Hopefully it's not damaged. Doesn't appear to be, as long as it's not damaged. Looks like it's missing the clip though. Maybe the clip is on the other side. Yeah, I think we can make do with this. I'm gonna go ahead and take this air box right here. So I'm gonna tear into that now. Here's what's left of a 2001 R50 Pathfinder, black. I know I said I was gonna upgrade my headlamps to some aftermarket units, but man, these are probably the cleanest headlamp assemblies that I've seen in this yard ever. And I think if I have enough time, I'm gonna try and get them. Cause I don't think I'll see another pair this clear. These would be some pretty good replacements for the ones that's on my R50 currently. So this one's an automatic. The key is still here. It has this cool dash cover, although it's dirty and it's seen better days. Ah, sad. So I'm wanting the center console trim bezel from this truck. And someone ruined it. Looks like they were after the radio, but it's like, come on, man, bring the right tools with you so you can get what you need and not destroy the stuff for others. <sighs> Hate when that happens. What's under here? Nothing. They took all of the uh, spare tire tools already. Trunk on this one is in really good condition. Yeah, this is a nice looking R50. Really nice. Oh, you see? Here it is. They utterly destroyed it. That makes me so upset. Nice clean shifter knob. I have an R50 colleague that was looking for one. Oh, and this one has the nice se cluster on it just like the one that you see me uh, replace on my truck this is what the uh, 01 se 4x4s would have came with is this one it looks like all the wheels are here let me see if i can find the passenger side one yep passenger side one is here and it's four matching uh tires all with the center caps and all of them are the same brand discoveries yeah, guys, the price was a bit of a deterrent factor for me. <laughs> Even with that, I think I'm just going to go ahead and take them. I've already started working on things. I got the corner lamp taken apart here, and I'm just going to go ahead and take them. So we end up having to take the grill off also. Luckily for me, someone had already busted this. So it's literally just being held in place with a couple of zip ties. I've already cut the two over here. I'm going to cut these two and remove this grill. It's a really nice grill, guys. Honeycomb, black. So upon closer inspection, guys, now I know why these headlamps look so new. And here's why. Because they are. They're not OEM. These are TYC brand, guys, made in Taiwan. Hell yeah. Turns out we also have to partially remove the fender, too, because the headlamps attach right here. So I'm going to go ahead and remove some of these fasteners just so I can move the fender off to the side a bit here. Man, it's a lot of work to get these headlamps. Yeah, guys, it is super windy out here. But man, this thing was a pita to take off. So just be mindful, there's gonna be a nut down here. I'm gonna make sure you get that sneaky bugger off because if you try and yank this thing off, it has a bracket at the bottom and you will break that definitely. 
and it looks like we're gonna need to swap the bulbs over which is fine the bulbs in my headlamps only a few months old anyway so now we're gonna get this one all right got both my prizes we have the uh tyc headlamp assemblies here now one thing i wanted to note was that the connectors for these headlamp bulbs are really greasy but now more importantly when you go to swap out your headlamp bulbs if this connector isn't coming off there's going to be two times on either side you have to squeeze and pull and that will allow it to come free just a side note and another fun fact while i've been in here pulling parts i just managed to sell some parts so um i don't exactly have to have buyer's remorse right now which is a good thing but um i'm still gonna try and be somewhat conservative now, um, another thing that I see that's trending since we're already on the topic of headlamp assemblies is these, the uh, Infinity QX4s, years uh, 97 through 2000. Those headlamp assemblies, because they're glass, they're really rare. And of course, you can't buy them brand new. So I'm going to snag this one, the driver's side one. I have a colleague that's looking for one, but this one, the tabs are broken, so that's not going to be a uh, good candidate but the passenger side one is still good so we'll snag on that so this one should come out similar to the 2001 r50 pathfinder even these ones right here too as hazy as they are and these are plastic this is when they started switching things over and making it a little bit cheaper but even these ugly looking things um recently i seen one singular one go for about 125 all right, so we got less than 15 minutes at this point. I finally just got the headlamp assembly off. I left the uh, basket behind. It's just brittle plastic anyway. But this is what people care about. Matter of fact, I have sold one of these previously to someone all the way in Canada. So it is a viable market for them. Yeah, so it's quitting time, guys. They're giving us the boot. But long story short, I got the air box. And I have the uh, headlamp assemblies. Again, didn't exactly come here to shop for my R50, but there's no way I was going to pass these up. Like I said, they're pretty much new. They're aftermarket, but they're a lot better than what I have on my R50 right now. And I just made a sale on eBay, which is going to help to offset the cost of some of these things that I'm going to buy now. But um, I have the airbox to sell i have that um passenger side infinity qx4 headlamp assembly to sell we're gonna spend some money but we'll make a lot more in turn at least that's the uh plan anyway but we're gonna go ahead and check out and head home so all up guys i ended up spending uh 88 bucks not feeling too bad about that because like i said i literally just sold something while i was in the junkyard I don't know what it is, <laughs> but like the last three trips that I've made to the junkyard, I'm not kidding. I ended up selling a part while I was in there. So it's like, oh, sell one, get one, you know? Um, well, yeah, I feel good about everything that I got. Like I said, we got the headlamp assemblies. As you can see, mines are heavily oxidated. Just look at how ugly they are, right? Compared to the TYC ones that we're gonna be putting on, those are gonna be a lot nicer. But um, I'm going to go ahead and get everything loaded up into the R50. And we're going to head home and we'll continue our junkyard adventure another day. And who knows? Maybe I'll sell some more stuff in the meantime. Oh. Thanks again for stopping by the Camp Van Files. My name is Chris. If you've enjoyed today's video, go ahead and give it a like. And while you're at it, don't forget to share, comment, and subscribe. And until next time... Keep using your Pathfinder as a Pathfinder, on or off the page. Check out our junkyard replacement headlamp assemblies in the daytime. It's gonna look good. I think so. Wow, we're almost there, guys. Let's keep it going.